gets power through here. This is amazing. This has got to have a stabilization glitch in it, though. Like, this is way too stable, huh? Let's uh, shoot the gap here between the trees. Uh, oh, yeah, that is just that's awesome looking, huh? Wait, what? 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 All right, so we're going to angle our nose up here and go blast off. Here we go. Come on. Let's stick a bob on the front. It could be Rose, except for not annoying. Hello, YouTube. Kubota Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic. And yes, folks, we are back once again. And today we're going to be checking out some really awesome creations. Obviously, you can see to the left of me, there's some uh, odd items here in Scrap Mechanic that we're going to be checking out. There's a, a new mod out. It's called the Micro Mod, which I'll explain a little more about it here in a second. But yeah, we'll be uh, checking out some other creations. I'll link everything down in the description, so if you want to check out anything that you see in this episode, that will be down there. I also do want to inform you guys that uh, we are doing some Scrap Mechanic Discord contest again. Uh, the latest one's just now ending as this video comes out, uh, but there will be another one uh, in place in probably about a week. So if you want to send any creations over, if you want to enter in that contest, the uh, Discord's linked down in the description there. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, maybe hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel. And comment below what you want to see next out of Scrap Mechanic. But anyways, let's jump right into this. Alright, so Mr. Joe Train Gamer has been working on a mod. And I must say, this is fairly impressive, mostly because uh, the mod has my logo in it. And that is so cool. You know, I never thought I'd see something uh, my, of mine. Of course, I didn't create it, but just seeing my logo inside of a game. Of course, I've always had the uh, the wool covers, which have always been really cool. But having like a full blown 3D logo, that blows my mind. That looks so good too. It's so clear and crispy. I can almost eat it. So yeah, there's the uh, CG gamer. You can get that. That'll be linked down in the description. But that's not the only thing this mod comes with. So we also have some other things here. We have a mini scrap mechanic character, which you have the boy and the girl. And there is Bob. Yes, that is Bob from Brick Rigs. Hold on, let's set him down on the floor here. Let's give you guys a kind of a feel for the scale. Now, I don't know if this was quite micro city scale when we were doing that. I think micro city scale, if I'm not mistaken, was one block. That's pretty darn close though. I imagine you probably could make a micro city around this uh, character. So I thought that was extremely cool. Uh, can I paint him? Oh, please tell me I can paint his shirt. Hold on, let's go blue here. Oh, you can paint his shirt. Can you paint him? No, you can't paint him, but you can paint Bob's shirt. Oh, that's awesome. So another random thing that I saw in here, which this is actually kind of cool. Uh, there is a NASCAR in this mod. Uh, this is uh, Kyle Busch's 18 M&M's Toyota. This is uh, pretty awesome looking. Now, the model is a bit odd because if you, uh, say if you grab the model, let's go and get another one out here. The model is kind of, uh, I don't know, I think it's got one box in it and that's the only collision box on it. Uh, so if you have like a, a piece set up like this, you can attach that. Can I stick stuff to the front of it? No, you can't. I'm kind of trying to figure out if maybe we could actually use these at some point. I mean, these basically look like uh, oversized RC cars. So if you did the micro wheels, you might be able to make these actually run. That would be kind of cool for a challenge or just to have like a micro NASCAR track. So yeah, that's a pretty cool little mod, micro mod. I have it linked down in the description. It's probably not the last that you've seen of this mod. I just thought it was so cool since it had my logo. And of course it had Brick Rigs Bob in it. So pretty awesome stuff by Joe Train Gamer. Uh, but yeah. Do check that out, and let's go ahead and move on to the next thing. Alright, so for our next creation here, we have probably one of the neatest looking jets I've ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. This is the P-52 Merlin jet. Obviously, uh, I don't really, I guess this is futuristic, I don't know if this is like a spacecraft, or if this is just like a futuristic jet that would be here on Earth, but still. Says uh, this jet took a long time. Uh, stand on the sensor to open the hatch. Okay, we can do that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, look at that. That is so cool looking. Hold on, let's set it down real quick. Okay. Oh, it's got landing gear that pops out the bottom. That's sweet. All right, top up here. Oh, I'm in love with this. Look at the lights. 
Uh, is that some of the thrusters? Or what's the thrusters here? Oh, these are buttons lined up. Okay, so you got a couple thrusters up here. There's actually minimal amount of thrusters here. You got quite a few back through here, but yeah, it's actually not too bad. All right, so there is a sensor I need to stand on. I should probably actually try to find it here. Is it right here? Oh, oh, that's cool. So you got a uh, pilot seat and a co-pilot. So let's jump into there. Hey, his head doesn't go in the glass. That's pretty awesome. Let's see, what does the cockpit look like? Oh, this is neat. Oh, this is nice and cozy. All right, so there wasn't instructions on how to fly this. Now, maybe there was on the actual workshop description, but we're going to wing it here. So let me go ahead and do a quick test of the WASD. Okay, so nothing happens on WASD. So this is all going to be on your numpad. So let's go. Uh, okay, all right, there's some thruster. Okay, so we are officially hovering right now. We're hovering like half a block off the ground. All right, so... Oh, geez. Okay, so uh, that's going to be left. Okay, left is three. And then four, I'm assuming, is right. Two plants you down, okay. And three is forward, okay. All right, so we're going to angle our nose up here and go blast off. Here we go. Oh, that was kind of a cool takeoff. All right, so let's get used to this. Does this thing maintain a altitude? Oh, let's try to let's try to level it off here. Let's go five. There we go. Sweet. Oh, that is cool. All right, so you can do like a not a bank turn, like you can do almost like a normal turn. It typically seems like it's pushing the nose down a bit with that, so kind of have to counter that. Or I guess we can do like a banked turn here too. Okay. Yeah, this would take a little bit to get used to as far as the flying. Because uh, the turning does seem like it, it's wanting to try to take its nose down. But still, nonetheless, very, very cool looking craft. Uh, let's see. Can we do a... Let's go for a backflip here. Oh, I want get, get to uh, get some good altitude here. All right, let's complete the flip. Uh... Oh, that works so good. Oh, I guess we're going to do a double backflip. Oh, there's a tree. Oh, no. <laughs> hey. Hey, it's still working. No, 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 no. Go, 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 go. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Go up. There we go. Man, Komodo is a terrible flyer. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get that back up in the air. This is actually quite fun. Really, really responsive controls, too, I must say. That's uh, it's rather impressive. So let's go ahead and turn it here. Okay, let's get the banking back. There we go. Pitch the nose back. Even out. There we go. All right, so you're probably hearing a lot of clicks, and that's really me clicking all the little buttons. Uh, it would be uh, nice if we eventually get some sort of, almost like a control module. I kind of picture something like Trail Makers controls and Scrap Mechanic to make stuff like this a little bit easier to pilot. But still, uh, once you get used to it, it's actually not that bad. Uh oh, uh, oop, over the tree. All right, so we're gonna go for a straight vertical uh, lift here. So let's go ahead and get the uh, let's get a camera, kind of a strict follow here. All right, so not vertical yet. Okay, that's pretty vertical. I don't want to tip the nose over. All right, uh, more vertical. It's pushing itself back a little bit if we go like straight up and down. So we have to keep it at an angle here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's go ahead. Uh, how many flips can we do? There's one. Oh, I should have done this on strict follow. Oh, no. Oh, I think we're out of the flips here. Oh, we're upside down. Hold on, let's make it go over. Uh, activate those back thrusters. Oh, that was cool. Oh, that was sweet. Okay, can we land it? Uh, I could probably just sit here and do this all day. This is really fun. All right, so let's go. Uh, hold on, let's get it, get it tilted. Okay, turn, turn, turn. Level it off here. Okay, let's start to go down. Dang it, that's uh, it's a railroad track I don't want to hit. Come on, uh, we're gonna land right on it. We're a train. I do like that the landing gear automatically comes out. That's pretty cool, so let's go ahead and shut it off. Sweet, so do we get out? Can we just, oh, that made a really big noise. That was awesome, I really like this craft. I like it a whole lot. That could be a really cool stunt craft once you uh, really master the controls. Uh, very, very impressive. I do want to thank the Ugly Dankling for that. That is awesome. 
Alright, so we're gonna go for a bit of a change in pace here. We have a creation by Zombie 1919 NL. This is a off-road slash rock crawler. So, yes, he finally made a car with good suspension. So he made this one. I know him and Edvin normally kind of hook up and they uh they work on cars, or at least Evan does suspension. He's a member on the Discord, and normally zo Zombie, I guess, would do the top half, but I guess this is Zombie, so let's try this out. Oh, boy. You know what? Check that out. I can already tell you, this is gonna lag. Scrap Mechanic does not like this many free bearings. That is ridiculous. All right, what does this look like when we uh, let it go here? Oop. Oh, it's crippling. Wait. Hey, it's good now. I cleared up really quick. All right, let's hop in here. I'm not, uh, I'm not sure about this, uh, cage design, zombie. This looks somewhat safe. It's, uh, the cage on top, so I'd say a little smaller than the, what it needs to be, I would guess. I picture something a little bit bigger. Now, I must say the suspension setup and those wheels look fantastic. Hold on, let's go for a bit of a climb here. There's a hill. Oh, what is the turning radius on this? This is, oh, that's ridiculous. It turns on a dime. Hold on, let's go and turn on the lights. Got a horn. All right, so this is a uh, it's a rock crawler, so we're gonna go do a bit of crawling. I have to get used to how sensitive the steering is. Uh, this thing turns really quick. All right, folks, so this is the uh, the path that we're gonna conquer here today. Let's go ahead and get moving. Up, oh, up. Oh, okay, gotta get used to this. Oh, <laughs> this is a bit weird. Okay, here we go. Man, I love that suspension. You know, surprisingly, it's not lagging that much. Now, if you were to spawn in two of these, it would be game over. Uh, keep crawling. I would say, hey, let's go up that straight vertical cliff there, but I know that's not going to happen. Uh, is this a terrain? Is this a custom terrain piece? It kind of feels like it. I don't think I've ever seen this in the default game. Uh, we're in my testing area where I downloaded some custom terrain. Uh, oh, well, that really wasn't much of a challenge, was it? Kind of feel like we need to go up something else. What about the uh, end over here? Let's go over on this side. And let's see what's over on this hill. Oh. Okay, let's try to hug the cliff. Hug the cliff. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. I felt the frames there for a second. All right. I need to go find something else to conquer. That was a pretty easy road. There we go. Oh. Oh, that looks like a decent rock right there. So... Let's see if we can power up over this. Here we go, and this almost looks straight vertical. Oop, oop, oop. Oh, oh no, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> on, we're gonna power back. Come on, get up on all fours, all fours. Uh, nailed it. All right, let's, uh, ooh, let's try that section over there. Yeah, it might be a, a little on the uh, top-heavy side, because it feels like it really wants to flip over. Uh, let's see. What looks like... You know what? Let's try this over here. Let's try actual rocks here, instead of trying to speed over a cliff section. So let's go boop, and... There we go. That's that satisfying suspension there. Uh, yep, yep, there we go. We climbed something. Yay! <laughs> oh, that is a, that's a tree. I like that. I really like the suspension design itself. Uh, oh yeah, that is just, that's awesome looking, huh? Wait, what? 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 Scrap mechanic. Oh! Oh, it finally fell over! I was trying to stick a bob under it. Oh great, now I'm under it. Get out of here. That's a cool car. I, I do like that rock crawler. Uh, I really love the suspension design. Plus those wheels on there just make it look so awesome. But yeah, let's move on to the next thing. All right, so for our next creation here, we have a flying Joy-Con. Yes, this is a Nintendo Switch Joy-Con. This looks really cool. All right, so this is made by the Tom Buster. Let's go ahead and pull that out. Uh, I've checked out some of his creations before. I always called him Tombster for some reason. What the heck? Hold on, let's set that back down. Okay, hold on, watch this. Okay, so you see the buttons, the trigger. That all pops out. Oh, the buttons actually raise up. That is cool. Wait, are these actually... Oh, oh. Wait, where do I... Where do you set on... on? Whoa! That has got a lot going on in there. That is impressive. All right, so we set... Oh. Oh, our body doesn't even poke out. Oh, look, the joystick actually uh, moves. 
All right, so let's try one is, I don't know, huh? let's try the, the button first, there we go. Are you kidding me? That, <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Oh man, all right, that is cool. All right, what does this do? Okay, so one raises you up, two is go down, I think. Yeah, twos go down. I don't know what that is. It just seems like a button. That seems like a button. Some of these actually seem like they're dead buttons. I think they're actually just working the remote. Yeah, because you can see the uh, the trigger going in and out. Okay. So this is really just a WASD flyer with an up and a down, uh, I guess with one and two. Uh, and let's, uh, let's power through here. This is amazing. This has got to have a stabilization glitch in it, though. Like, this is way too stable, huh? Let's uh, shoot the gap here between the trees. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, can we shoot another gap here? Aim in between these two. Oh, getting up out over the uh, the dirt track here. That is awesome. I really like this a lot. That kind of makes me want to play with my Switch. I haven't played that in a while. Uh, let's get up high. So I'm assuming... Oh, let's go ahead and release this. Okay, so we're going to release. Does this thing work as kind of like a, a glider once we're... Okay, so let's get on the ground here. So... When I'm like this, will this still go, or... Oh, we're kind of hooked onto something. There we go. Does this still move, or... No, so you need to be... You need to have that hover mode engaged. This also works as one of these, like, almost like an F-Zero uh, style racer. Uh, oh, this is cool. We'll try to follow the track here. Uh, we're slightly lifting here. Looks like I'm... It looks like a drifting uh, switch remote. Oh, buddy. All right, we're in the dirt section. We're going to drift around a tree here. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. That brings a lot of joy to my heart, though. That's awesome. That and just detail-wise, that, that's really on point. Uh, there's where you would actually hook into the like the little uh, tablet. Wow. Does that have the... No, that doesn't have the, the little strap for the hand. I think there's like a, a big plastic piece that you can put over here. And it's got a little wrist strap, say, if you just want to play with one Joy-Con remote. Uh, very awesome creation, though. I want to thank Mr. Tom Buster for sending that over. All right, for our last creation. Now, admittedly, this creation doesn't do anything. This is really a static creation, but I thought it should be showcased. It looks fantastic. This is a 1 to 3 scale of the Titanic. Uh, this is made by Mertz, I believe I'm saying that right. Let's go ahead and spawn this. It's going to take a second here. Gonna, it's gonna lag. Okay, waiting, 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 waiting. Boom. Oh, buddy, check that out. That's beautiful. Whoo, that is absolutely beautiful. So yeah, this is the uh, Titanic. It is a static object. It probably, if I had to guess, this thing probably needs pegs because I don't want to set it straight on the ground. Or does it have pegs built in it? What is that? I don't know, is that a button? I don't know, we're gonna place some pegs on this, just in case, uh, because I really, I really don't want this thing to directly hit the ground because it's gonna lag like crazy. So, let's go ahead and put pegs all around it real quick, and let's go ahead and lower it here, and we're gonna set it down, okay. Oh, it's lagging. There we go. All right, so here she is, the Titanic. Let's get up on top of it here. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is like a big model. Wow. All right, so we're at the back of the ship here. Uh, no, folks, this doesn't have a Titanic mode. If anybody watches my Stormworks videos, they're like, hey, can you sink it? <laughs> oh, this is glorious looking. Oh, can you see inside the interior? Oh, it is hollow. Dude, you can, I know it's, it is completely hollow, but I didn't expect you to be able to see in there somewhat. That is cool. All right, let's climb up the top here. Could you imagine a one-to-one -one scale in scrap mechanic? That would be ridiculous. So it looks like we're by all the lifeboats here. Can we see down in this? I might cut this open that way I can see in it. Now, little known fact about the Titanic, actually quite a pe uh, few people know. Uh, supposedly uh, one of the smokestacks is actually fake and just for show. I don't know which one it is. Uh, if anybody knows, just answer it down in the comments. Uh, let's see, let's go up towards here. 
This thing's a work of art. I want to see the uh, the front of it though. Let's hop over here. Boom. All right. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I love this. All right. So, like I said, it is static. There's not really anything you can do with it. But there is a seat somewhere, so I need to find it. Uh, is that a seat? Wait, I can climb all the way down in this. Is there a way from the bottom to get in? Hold on, there is, isn't there? Ah, here we go. So, we're in it. We're in the boat. Oh, let's hop out here. Oh, let's give you guys a, a look at the inside. I don't know if you would be making this thing hover anytime soon. This thing is made completely, like, the hole and everything's made out of metal. And yeah, that's not uh, it's not too easy to lift. There's a button back here. What does that do? Are those just lights, possibly? I don't know. Let's hit those, and we can pop out the top here. Oh, there you go. Uh, let's go ahead and hit these real quick. There we go. And we're going to work our way out here. All right. And boom. What did that do? Is that just... Oh, it was just lights. You can see one of the little red lights right there and I think there was uh, quite a bit of lights on the back actually let's go back here alright yep 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 where are all these lights at oh something's lit up back here what is this oh it's the writing oh that's awesome looking wow that and just look at the shape of this like that takes a bit of patience I've created a couple boats in scrap mechanic and getting that shape with square blocks isn't the easiest thing to do uh, to be honest with you but that that is gorgeous I like that a lot Wow all right let's uh one more thing I want to do I want to cut into it a bit that way I can try to see what's on the interior what is the Bob to Bob skill here this almost looks like it's skilled for Bob's hon let's stick a Bob on the front it could be Rose except for not annoying we've got a Bob on the front <laughs> Oh, this is great. We can stick bobs all over this thing. We have a bob party. Uh, and, all right, so I said I was going to cut into it real quick. I'm just curious. Are all the floors... Actually, is this the captain's? Oh, you can somewhat see... Hold huh? on, let's cut this open real quick. All right, let's go... Eh. Dude, is this like the wheelhouse and everything? Oh, that is awesome! Oh, you can see some of the staircase. Oh, let's cut into this floor. Uh, can I... Okay, so that's hollow there. Let's cut down into here... Uh, oh, I'm gonna cut under me here. There we go. Nope, still ain't made it. There we go. So that's another hollow section. Does this lead down to the bottom from here? No, we got another hollow deck. That's sweet. I like that a lot. Oh boy. Yeah, if we can get a, a floating one. Actually, you know what? It's, if Scrap Mechanic can like handle a floating one of these, that would be amazing. Like That would be truly... That'd be truly a task. I can only imagine. I've seen a couple almost full-size battleships on a scrap mechanic. I, I think some of them fly, but it's just, it's one of those things the game just chugs so hard. Kind of wish it was more optimized for stuff like this. But yeah, that is awesome. I want to thank the creator for sending that over. Like I said, all the creations are going to be linked down in the description. So if you want to play with anything that you saw on this episode here today, they will be down there. But yeah, uh, be sure to uh, join the Discord down below if you want to send any creations over or join in on those contests. We'll be having a contest video. We'll be uh, judging those here relatively soon, as soon as I get everything together. So uh, hopefully you'll join us for that. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for all the love and support on the uh, Scrap Mechanic series. And we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic.